What's up everybody, this is Nintendo Capri Sun, and we are on part 5 of Let's Play Earthbound. So, we're going to see the mayor. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkhole is waiting for you. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. If you tried to go there before, she would just say, well, I won't let you by. I'll have to stop you. Hey, hey, hey! I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. So nice to meet you. You beat up the town bully, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you! Yeah, I would like that key, if you would not mind giving it to me. Uh, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. Oh, you're such a smart kid. You seem to have too much to carry. Get rid of some stuff here. Oh man. Okay, this is one thing I do not like about this game. I, even though I love the game, the inventory system is extremely annoying because basically, you know, as you notice, if I'm carrying two or more of something, it's going to take up that many slots in the inventory, and you only have like 14, 15, 16 slots as it is. Two or three of those slots are guaranteed to be taken up by the stuff that you have to carry around, like the soundstone and your ATM card. That stuff takes up room in your inventory. Also, the equipment that you have equipped will take up a few slots. So by the time you take all that out, you're looking at maybe ten spots for each character. So you can't carry around a lot, and that can become extremely troublesome later. And if anyone is wondering about the rock candy glitch, I will be using that. I will be looking into it. I don't know if someone's... Oh, well, look at this guy. Bob Marley over here. Holy cow. How the heck does Bob Marley know Sky? Well, sure beats the heck out of me. Hmm. He says she's special, though. That's kind of cool. I don't even want to know why he thinks she is. Ooh, he's running away now. Let's see if we can get a... Yes! Automatic win! All because of the uh, first strike. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something about inventory, and then I got on some other subject. Heck, if I can even remember now. Big footprint, huh? Well, that's probably what they mean by giant step. Have to more on that later, I guess. Oh, I was talking about the rock candy glitch. Yeah, I'll show you how to do that when we get there. <laughs> but that's not till much later in the game. But it's an interesting glitch. Um, basically... You, what happens when you use the rock candy in battle, if you gain a level on that battle, your stat gains will be like a whole bunch, a whole lot bigger than they normally would be, or something. I can't remember exactly how it works, but, or maybe it's just it automatically gets you, but basically the trick is if you put it in a certain spot in your inventory, when you use the item, it won't disappear from your inventory, so you get like an infinite supply of them. And, well, like I said, I'll show you how that works. Looks like we gained a level here. It's cool. If you have a certain stat that goes up by a lot compared to how it normally would, it'll say something like, Oh, baby, or that rocks, or awesome, or whatever. Okay. Ooh, there's going to be a lot of battles in this video, I tell you. A lot to edit out, is what I mean. Yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I think we might have a... Yeah, we got a new enemy here. This is the Black Antoid. This guy's regular attack will do about the same that the Rowdy Mouse does on a critical hit. Because the Rowdy Mouse gets a lot of critical hits, but his normal attack is only going to do one damage to you, so... It's not a big deal. But it's easy to get confused, because you think, well, if it's a normal attack, it's not going to hurt as much, but... This is where those hamburgers might come in handy if you're running low on magic, which I seem to be. I probably should have healed up before I came here. But I know there's a butterfly a little bit later on I can pick up, so we'll do that. Yep, like I said, this place is just crawling with monsters. And these guys will come up. Ah, okay, we got a new enemy here. This is the slug. I'm just going to use my new music spell. You might notice when I gained that level earlier, I learned the spell. This is what it is. It's 
It's basically an all-out offensive spell is what it is. And it's very sweet. I don't know what happened to the sound on here. It got quiet all of a sudden. Hmm. Eat another hamburger. <laughs> Since I used that spell, I can't heal myself now, but that's okay. Sweet. Level 9. All right. Okay, we're back. I just got up to level 9, baby. Well, you know, I might just go ahead and leave that part of the battle in or something. I think I said something when I gained, like, sweet level 9 or something. <laughs> Fortunately, it won't make you fight too many monsters at one time here. Like, if a, if a rowdy mouse attacks you, the little ones will disappear. Okay. But these little guys are really hard to see, and they'll attack you in large groups like this. So they can be a little problematic, but whatever. Man, oh man. Just doesn't stop. Okay, we're outside, and there's my butterfly right there. You can see the big footprint up there, actually. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Nothing over there. Looks like the butterfly respawned. <laughs> How peculiar. Might as well life up and take advantage of it. See, already we're starting to see that it doesn't refill it all the way. Because my max MP now is 30. See there? So. And I think it only giving me 20. So, oh well. 20 is better than nothing, I'll tell you that. And when you have several characters, it'll give 20 back to all of them. It won't, like, divide it or anything like that. Uh. Okay, well, that could have been worse. We're okay, though. Whoa! Jesus, ambush me right when I come in the door. How do you like that? Ooh, yeah, we're almost there. I think the boss is at the top of this room. Yes, he is. This is the boss. This is your sanctuary. So, before you talk to this thing, make sure you're healed up. I'm not spending magic on that, because I need all the magic I can get in this battle. Take it from me, if you dare. Well, I dare. Now, this guy is hard to see, but there's two little antoids behind him. So what you want to do is start off right away with your offensive spell and take those guys out. Because if you don't do it, they will fuck you up. Sorry, I just had to. I'm going to go ahead and life up here. That did a lot of damage, that bite just now. I'm going to go ahead and use it again. What the hey? Oh, dude, he took away my magic before I had a chance to cast the spell. This boss music is awesome, I can tell you. Ugh. Man, I am running out of time here. I'm up to 12 minutes now. I mean, I know I got some battles to edit out, but still. Man, that's not good. That's two times now he's done that. Oh, well... There must be a large randomness to that, um, attack modifier or something. Because he did 45 before he decreased my defense, and then he did 25. Oh, uh, now he did 40. Ugh, that was close. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm not taking any chances, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here, and we will explore, or we will take our reward in the next video. So I'll see you then.